I recently found myself in the market for a new basement dehumidifier and I picked up this model. It's a Frigidaire FFAD3533W1. The name is kind of crazy, but basically it's a 35 pint basement style dehumidifier. Clearly it's on the large side. This thing weighs about 45 pounds, so it's definitely a tank. And it's made for moderately sized basements, smaller basements that are wet, larger basements that are kind of not too wet. It's a mid-sized dehumidifier. This thing costs about, retail is about 229. Sometimes you could find it much lower than that, like 180 on a Black Friday type sale or something like that. The model's been around for a while. It's one of kind of the standard frigidaires that has the energy saver, energy saver certification. Not too big, not too small. This frigidaire goes from 22 pints up to 60 pint for the big ones. And then you're choosing based on your room size and how wet it is and stuff like that. As far as the features go, this one doesn't have Alexa or Wi-Fi connectivity or anything smart like that. The features are really all about what you have in the basement and what you need it to do. You have that very big bucket that's here, 35 pints. I don't plan on using the bucket because of the feature that's really important for me, which is this right here. This is my hose outlet. And if you have a sink in your basement, as opposed to using the bucket, having the bucket you know fill up and have to dump it out yourself, you can get the hose and go straight into a uh, into your sink. Or I mean, it could go into other things like a French drain or something like that too if you want, but I definitely recommend the hose. This is 110 or 115 volt, so standard uh, US setup here. There you have the uh, sort of cooling fins in there. Uh, you would just use, get at this for cleaning here. It has no real filter, just a very light screen here that you would use for taking off pet hair and other big stuff. It's not really gonna stop dust. This thing's not an air filter, right? It's just a dehumidifier. This is 45 pounds, so it's quite hard to handle, which is why it has a nice sturdy handle for picking it up. It's on casters as well. So if you do have it on the floor, you can move it around easily. If it's not on the floor, if you have it elevated so that it has to get above your sink so it could drain into your sink, the casters can be a little bit of a problem, but it's, uh, it's easy enough to kind of keep it in place. As far as the features go, it's very simple. We have filter reset, timer, bucket fill indicator, your high, low fan speeds, and then your humidity setting. Here's that handle from the top and the bottom. And there you can see the hardware, there's a, there's a blower fan that's kind of doing all the heavy lifting here. So here's the old dehumidifier on low. This is an Amana, it's about seven or eight years old. Here's the old Amana on high. Here's the Frigidaire on low. Definitely quieter than the Amana. And here's the Frigidaire on high. I'd say it's about the same as the Amana, uh, but also the sound is I would say less disruptive. It's just sort of a blowing sound. It doesn't have that same machine sound that the Amana had. Here I have the exhaust hooked up. So it's going into my sink. And uh, this way you have it circumventing the bucket. It's just going out here into the sink and uh, you don't really have to worry about it. So here's the Frigidaire active, which means it's actively dehumidifying and in low mode. You could hear there's sort of a machine type whir to the noise. And it's going like that. That means it's actually dehumidifying as opposed to just having the fan blowing now. It's definitely quieter than the Amana and it's uh, fully active. It's a little bit louder from the back. A little bit quieter from the front. Uh, so here you go. You can kind of hear that dehumidifier going and uh yeah so far so good 
I've been using this one for a little bit and it's doing the job. It has the humidity gauge on the top. I have that set to the right number. It seems accurate. It's pulling moisture from the air, keeping my basement dry and uh, smelling non musty. So I'm uh, pretty happy with this. It's quieter than it was before. That was kind of the goal. And now I have a new reliable unit and you get that energy star money back from your power company, most likely, as long as this this unit is registered on their list, which it should be since it's from a major brand and this Frigidaire is sold at Home Depot and other major places like that. So you should be able to get a fairly substantial discount on the unit itself. So that pretty much covers it. If you're looking for a dehumidifier for your basement, Frigidaire seems like a nice option. I've had pretty good luck with their products in the past and it was exciting to get a pretty good deal on this one. So uh, it's doing its job so far. And my number one complaint with the old one was that it was very loud and it turned off randomly. Neither of those things are happening. So I'm quite happy with this one. It's a little bit expensive at close to $200, but previous Frigidaires I've had, we're getting eight, nine years of service out of them or like I got out of this Amana, then can't really complain. Thanks for watching.